What's going on guys and welcome to the next episode of the Cracker Pack series. Today we are opening up a pack of Battle for Zendikar. Uh, not the most exciting in terms of value though U Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger is sitting right around $27 on Card Kingdom. Uh, Gideon Ally of Zendikar is sitting right around 10 and then just under that Omnath Locus of Rage sitting right around 6 to $7. Uh, so there's a few things that we could hit here. Hopefully we get something good. As always we are going to go through this uh, as if this is a limited environment. Uh, so pack one, pick one, we'll see if we can determine what we would actually take uh, by going through every single card. I will go ahead and say I'm not the best at drafting, so uh, if you disagree with me, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. That is perfectly fine. Uh, but we kick off our comments here with Anticipate. It's one in a blue for an instant. Look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this card. It's a perfectly fine card in a blue deck. Uh, it's really just incidental card draw, which isn't necessarily the best in limited, uh, but certainly playing one or two of these in a deck is not uh, unheard of. It's not bad by any means. Uh, also not really a first pick though, so uh, we'll go ahead and pass over that. Uh, Sludge Crawler is a 1-1 one, one for 1 black. It has Devoid, so it has no color. Uh, it also has Ingest, so when it deals combat damage to a player, that player exiles the top card of his or her library. Um, excuse me. Uh, it also has uh, pay two, and it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. This card is great in a uh, maybe red-black aggro shell. Uh, it's a one-drop, so it comes out super early. Uh, it has incidental ingest, uh, which also synergizes with a lot of other cards. Uh, and it can also buff itself, which is great. So uh, I'll put that to the side now. I actually really like that. Uh, Earthen Arms is a sorcery for one and a green. Put two plus one, plus one counters on target permanent. Uh, you can also pay Awaken 4 uh, for 6 in a green, and if you cast it, uh, you also put 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters on target land you control, and it becomes an elemental creature uh, with haste. It is still a land as well. Uh, Awaken is its, actual, is its own deck, basically, uh, in this set. Awaken is fantastic. It adds, uh, it's sort of like Kicker in the sense that uh, you can play the card just normally, or you can wait and play the Awaken cost, and uh, it's actually just much, much better. Uh, I really, really like that. I, this is not my favorite Awaken card. Uh, I'd probably play it, but it's not going to be a first pick for me. Uh, Incubator Drone is a 2-3 for 4 with Devoid. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one colorless Eldrazi Scion onto the battlefield uh, that you can sacrifice to add 1 mana to your mana pool. This is, I think, uh, so far a really good card and a really good pick. Uh, it's basically, it's, what, 3... It's three power uh, with four toughness out of one card, uh, so it's always a two for one, which is great. It also can ramp you uh, if you need it to, uh, so for that reason, I really like that. Uh, Lava Step Raider is a one two for one red. Uh, you can pay two in a red, and it gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. Another very good just uh, red black aggro card. Uh, this is fantastic in that deck. Uh, it is a little bit heavy to pay that cost, but um, and you wouldn't certainly you wouldn't want tons of these. Uh, but it's okay. I would probably not first pick it by any means. Uh, Mackendy Patrol, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that, is a 2-3 three for 3 with a Rally. Uh, so when it or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, creatures you control gain Vigilance until end of turn. I did forget that uh, allies were a thing in this set. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this card. I think it's fine uh, in the ally deck, uh, but I would not want this to be my flagship card that puts me into allies. So for that reason, I would not pick it. Uh, Kozilek's Channeler is a 4-4 four, four for 5 uh, that you can tap to add 2 to your mana pool. This card is actually really, really good. I think I like it more uh, than the Incubator Drone. And the reason being, uh, it's a 4-4 four, four for 5, which isn't amazing, but it is decent. I mean, it's an okay body. Uh, but it also ramps you, and it's colorless. So you can play this in literally any deck that you play. Uh, so for that reason, I really like that. Uh, Vestige of Immercruel is a 3-4 four for 4 with Devoid and Trample. Uh, this is not amazing, I don't think. Uh, paying 4 for a 3-4 doesn't feel good, and the trample really isn't great on a 3-4. Uh, I feel like maybe it's okay, but it's it's like kind of on the borderline of good and just really bad, so I would not want to pick that. Uh, Courier Griffin is a 2-3 for 4 that is flying, and when it enters the battlefield, you gain 2 life. Nothing wrong with this card. It's perfectly fine. Uh, it's not super strong by any means, but because it has evasion, it's great. The incidental life gain really doesn't mean that much in limited, I don't think. Um, but certainly it'll save you a couple points of damage, so nothing wrong with that. I don't like it over the channeler for sure. 
Uh, Valakut Predator is a 2-2 for 3 with Landfall. Uh, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, the Predator gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. Uh, I really like this card, actually. I think it's good. Uh, again, in a red-black aggro shell, this, this card would be an all-star. Uh, which seems to be a really open deck, uh, I will go ahead and say, but uh, I still think I like the Channeler more. Uh, Tajuru Warcaller uh, is a 2-1 for 5 uh, with Rally, uh, so when it or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, creatures you control get plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. This is the payoff card for allies. This is great. Uh, allies really look to swarm the board with a bunch of just random creatures, random allies obviously, uh, and then pl play something like this, which is basically just a stampede kind of card. It's like, hey, buff everybody up uh, and then swing in and attack. This card is great. Uh, I'll put it over here for now. I don't know if it's uh, as good or better than the Channeler. Uh, Herald of Kozilek is a 2-4 for 3, 1, a red, and a uh, blue. With Devoid and Colorless Creature Spells you cast, cost 1 less to cast. Uh, I actually don't mind this card, but I wouldn't want this first picked. Uh, it's not super strong. Uh, it has a big butt, so it may be able to survive a little bit longer than normal. Uh, and it does have a great ability to say colorless spells cost one less to cast. Um, devoid counts as anything with devoid counts as a colorless spell. Uh, so for that reason, they will all cost uh, one less if they have devoid, which is great. Uh, but overall, just not the best in my opinion. Uh, Blighted Step is a land that you can tap it for one generic. You can also pay three in a white and tap it and sacrifice it and you gain two life for each creature you control. I don't really like this card. Uh, I don't think it's very good so I wouldn't pick it. Uh, and our rare is Zada, Hedron Grinder, which is a 3-3 three, three for four and whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets only Zada, uh, you copy that spell for each other creature you control that the spell could target. Each copy targets a different one of those creatures. Uh, Zod is a great commander card, not a very good limited card. That's really all I have to say about it. Instants and sorceries are not going to be your bu the bulk of your decks, hopefully. Uh, and so for that reason, I do not like first picking that. We, of course, have our full art land and then our token there. Uh, I, I like the Chandler because it leaves you very, very open. Uh, but I think the payoff for the Warcaller is huge. Uh, so for that reason, I think I would probably take the Warcaller, to be honest. I've never drafted the Allies deck, but I would love to give it a shot, so I think that's probably going to be the way I would go. By all means, please let me know if you feel like uh, I made the wrong pick in the comment section below. Please make sure to like and comment anyway if you did enjoy this video, and of course, please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our content. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next Crack-A-Pack video.